Okay, so today we're diving into an episode of Matlock that really got me thinking. Uh, it's called 16 Steps. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. And at first glance, you know, it seems like another one of her courtroom battles. Yeah. You know, Maddie going up against the bad guys. Right. But this one really digs into some, I don't know, kind of heavier stuff. Yeah. You know, like grief and privilege and what it really means to, to seek justice. Yeah, I actually, I remember that one. I think I see where you're going with this. Yeah, it, it kind of sticks with you. Yeah. So I thought it'd be really interesting to, to kind of unpack this episode together and see what we can, you know, what we can find. Awesome. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so for anyone who maybe hasn't seen this episode, um, basically Maddie and her team, they take on this case against this this big company, this this formula company called First 12 Formula. Okay. And they're accused of basically causing the death of a baby. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's heavy stuff. And the episode, like it doesn't shy away from showing just how much this case affects everyone involved. Right. Um, and the parents' testimony, it's, it's just gut wrenching. Oh, I bet. I bet. So, you know, you're already dealing with this really complex legal battle, but then you add in the emotional weight of, of a child's death and it just, it gets really, really intense. Yeah. I mean, cases like that are never just about the law, are they? Exactly. You know, there's always that, that human element that makes it so much more, well, complicated and yeah, just heavier. Absolutely. And speaking of complicated, let's talk about Maddie. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty clear from the start that she's bringing a lot of her own baggage into this case. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know she lost her daughter. And that loss, it just hangs over everything she does in this episode. Yeah, that, that definitely comes through. Yeah, and there's even this really intense scene where she has a panic attack after the trial. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, and it just made me think, like, you know, is she really fighting for the Samsons, the parents? Or is she, is she trying to deal with her own grief and, and maybe guilt? It's interesting you say that because I think the episode does a really great job of not giving you a simple answer. Right. Like, Maddie obviously cares about getting justice for the family. I mean, she wouldn't be Matlock if she didn't. Right, right. right. But at the same time, you see how driven she is to the point where it's, you know, it's affecting her health. It makes you wonder if maybe she sees this case as a way to fix something from her own past, even though it's not directly her fault. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good point. It's almost like she's punishing herself. Right, yeah. And that idea of, of different perspectives and motivations, it's really highlighted in the dynamic between Olympia and Julian, too. Oh, totally. I mean, the tension between them is, is pretty thick in this one. Yeah, I mean, you see Olympia getting increasingly frustrated with Julian's you know, privileged upbringing. Especially when they're dealing with a family that's clearly struggling financially. Right, exactly. It's like she's constantly reminding him that th that justice isn't just about the law, it's about understanding people's lives and circumstances. I'm so and it makes you think, you know, how much do our own backgrounds, our experiences, shape how we view justice and and how we go about trying to achieve it? Yeah, no, that's that's such a great point. It's It's like, are they stronger as a team because they have these different viewpoints or does it actually hold them back? Well, I think it's it's honestly probably a little bit of both, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's fair. You know, on the one hand, their different perspectives cause friction, but that friction can also, you know, make them challenge each other, consider things they wouldn't have thought of otherwise. Right, like Olympia's sensitivity to the family's situation. Mm. It kind of forces Julian to to think outside of just the legal strategy. Right, and remember that scene where they're arguing about whether to take the settlement offer? Oh yeah, yeah. Olympia's the one who brings up the the human cost of dragging the case out even longer. Exactly, and that's something Julian, you know, with his privileged background might not have even considered. Exactly, so in a way, their differences actually make them a more effective team, even if it's not always pretty. Yeah, totally, and, and you know, another thing that really stood out to me in this episode was how they use flashbacks to show Olympia and Julian's past. Oh yeah, I remember those. Yeah, I mean, we see them making mistakes. Yeah. You know, struggling, even doubting themselves. And it's not something you usually see in legal dramas, right? Right, but like, lawyers are usually portrayed as these like flawless superhumans. Yeah, exactly. But in this episode, they're, they're human, they're flawed. It made me really connect with them on a different level. Absolutely. And and I think that's exactly what the writers were going for. You know, they wanted to remind us that everyone makes mistakes, even the best lawyers. Right. And it's what we do with those mistakes that defines us. You know, do we learn from them? Do we grow? Right, right. And the flashbacks also give us more insight into why Olympia and Julian are so driven to win this case. Yeah, yeah. It's not just about their careers 
or, or pride. It's about proving to themselves that they've come a long way since those early days. Exactly. And and even though they do win the case, the ending doesn't feel like a, a typical victory. No, not at all. Maddie's reaction is so, I don't know, subdued. Almost like she's sad. Yeah, and there's no, you know, big celebration or sense of closure. No, not really. It's like the episode is saying that even when justice is served, it doesn't always heal the wounds. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely leaves you with this feeling of, of, I don't know, ambiguity. Like, was it all worth it? Right. Like, what is justice, really? And can it ever truly bring closure? Yeah. And I think those are questions that each of us has to grapple with. Absolutely. This episode, it's not just a legal drama. No. It's about grief and the limits of the legal system. Mm -hmm. And it asks us to consider what we're willing to sacrifice in the pursuit of justice. Right. And, and what that pursuit really means to us on a personal level. Exactly. Wow, this episode really, really packs a punch. Yeah, for sure. It makes you think about justice and grief and responsibility in a, in a whole new way. Definitely does. Well, that's all the time we have for our deep dive today. Great talking about this one. But I, I'd love to know what you think. Mm -hmm. Do you think Maddie was seeking justice or punishing herself? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let's keep this conversation going. Thanks for listening. See ya.